but the New York Giants have looked to familiar faces for help in the secondary as the New York Giants signed Landon Collins, former safety of the Giants, went to Washington in 2019, signed like a six-year, $84 million contract, a lot of money guaranteed, don't don't know the specific number, but it did not work out. He was on the streets for this season, and the Giants found a way to bring back Landon Collins. Let's get right into it. So I don't really know what like what to think of it because I don't know the impact he's going to make on this team. Like obviously he had one good season. Let's be real. He's had one good season. He was all right in 2017 as well, but in our playoff year, we went 11 and 5. A lot of it was due to him. That defense was very very good. Landon Collins was a big part of that. There's no denying that. He had like five sacks or four sacks, five interceptions, something around that number. Uh, he he was absolutely great. I don't really know what to expect for Landon Collins. We signed him onto the practice squad. Julian Love is limited in concussion protocol he's limited in practice coming out of a concussion so i don't know if he's going to play he's probably going to be splitting reps we still have tony jefferson we still have dane belton so i don't really know what landon collins is going to provide here but there is a conspiracy not a conspiracy just a pattern that i'm seeing here with the giants and london okay you go back to 2007 i put a tweet about it. you guys can look at it go back to 2007 the new york giants beat the Miami Dolphins that year in London and went on to win Super Bowl 42. Fast forward to 2016, the next time the Giants play in London, they play against the Rams, they beat the Rams, and then they go on to make the playoffs. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get very far, but we had the best record we had in years, the best record we've had since. We also made the playoffs. We lost, but still, there's a pattern here. Seems like every time we play in London, the good things happen. So we're going to play in London with the best record that London has ever seen with both teams coming in 3-1. And And the Giants have had their best start since over a decade, even better than 2016. We started 2-2 in 2016, not 3-1. So we have an even better record going into it. And on top of that, we brought Landon Collins back. You know what Landon Collins' breakout game was? But it was against the Rams in 2016. With that pick six, that that kick-started Landon Collins' all-pro year. And, I mean, there's no coincidence here that we signed Landon Collins right before the trip to London. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So looking more into the Landon Collins signing, what does he provide to the Giants? Well, besides, you know, being a lucky charm in London games, I mean, he's only played in one, but listen, let, let's just, let's just stick, stick with the narrative here. Um, you know, besides being that that type of lucky charm there, he does provide a lot of versatility and I think is, is very enticing for Wink Martindale. I think he's uh, very, very happy that we brought in Landon Collins. Landon Collins is able to do a lot of things. Now, he's very limited as far as the, like, the coverage game goes. He did have five interceptions that 2016 year. He had a very good coverage grade as well. He's one of the better cover safeties in the NFL that year, but that was an outlier. He's really not much of a coverage uh, coverage safety i was almost gonna say linebacker because you could use him that as that as well he you could put him anywhere around the box in the box so you could play box safety he could play linebacker he doesn't like to play linebacker washington washington tried to con- convince him or try to put him at that position he doesn't like it at all but it's kind of the same thing um you know he guards tight ends he guards the running back on the back- backfield things like that he-, he guards the outsides i mean he does he does a lot and especially on blitzes as well, you're going to be able to use Landon Collins in a, in a multi sort of faceted way. All right. So you're able to use him multi purposely. So um, I, I like the signing. Obviously, it's for like a practice squad type contract. I don't know what the incentives are for actually playing in a game coming off the practice squad. Like when, when you're coming up from the practice squad and you play, I don't know what the raise is. But I mean, just to keep it simple, it's a practice squad contract. And I think, um, hey, man, nowadays players are working for, like, bare minimum at at this point. Um, Ever since you were able to bring up practice squads to play, I mean, I don't know when when they made that legal. That was, like, recently. But I'm excited. I'm excited for Landon Collins. I'm excited that he's coming back. Um, Good to see a familiar face. And like I said, man, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, good things are going to happen this year. We're playing in London. Landon Collins is back. 
He made a fantastic pick six in London that got kickstarted his career pretty much because he had a terrible rookie season. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy about it. I, I see the pattern. I recognize the pattern NFL. I recognize, recognize the pattern uh, Giants uh, franchise. So I'm with it. I'm with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video.